Insects have haunted my life for years. When I was just five years old, I was walking innocently through my grandpa's garden when a grasshopper jumped onto my face and grabbed a hold of my nose. I wrestled with it briefly and eventually got it loose, but ever since that moment, I've wanted to rid the world of their awful presence. I'm not sure if it's the way they latch their spindly legs onto me, their horrible searching eyes, or the way they launch themselves at people from a distance, but I fear them all the same. Later, my friend Jake Menard told me that on average, all people eat about eight spiders a year. They wait till we're asleep, the darkest hours of the night, when we're at our deepest state of rest. And then they calmly crawl up from the baseboards of our bedrooms and climb up the edges of our beds where they find us fast asleep. It's not that they want to crawl inside of our mouths. It's just that their biology takes over and their desire to inhabit dark, moist areas leads them across the bed, towards our bodies, up our arms, across our chests, briefly onto our lips, and with our mouth agape and rest, they crawl onto our tongues. From there, our bodies involuntarily swallow, and thus we are one spider closer to our yearly quota of eight. It wasn't until later in life that the internet came along, and I learned that this was a complete myth. It turns out that spiders spend their entire life cycle spinning and hunting on the webs. But unfortunately for me, the psychological damage had been done, and the reality that spiders remain a disgusting creature leaves me yearning for their ends. I've spent most of my life searching for that one way to rid the world of grasshoppers, spiders, and other insects. In all my searching, I had many failures until, on one fateful morning, I discovered it. As I gazed out my kitchen window, I saw a beautiful, beautiful creature swoop down and snatch up a grasshopper. I later learned that it also eats crickets, spiders, and other bugs. And I thought, what a glorious creature. What can one person do to help facilitate this onslaught against the bugs? And I realized the answer was, build more bluebird houses. Bluebird houses are wonderful. They allow you to experience the miracle of life when little babies are born. And then the realization hits that with each baby born, it too will eat more and more spiders and grasshoppers. And thus we can rid the planet of these awful creatures. And so my proposition to you folks, build more bluebird houses. Build lots of them. Lots and lots and lots.